Hello and welcome to the message of the kingdom. My name is David Yasef Levi Hawkins and I'm an ordained minister in the house of Yahweh. You know when people hear us say that Yahweh is not a God, they say, what do you mean by that? That Yahweh is not a God. Well my friends, the key to understanding this is simply knowing where the word God came from. The reason people find it difficult to conceptualize the Creator not being God is because we have all been taught that it was God who made all things from the day of our birth. The word God has been drilled into our psyche as the Creator of all things. But there are many people who are now beginning to see and understand this enough not to use the word God anymore. A much safer term to use is Heavenly Father, as the Messiah did on several occasions. Once I started learning about all this, I started praying to the Heavenly Father. I didn't start using Yahweh's name right away until I did some more research. But I saw enough never to use the word God ever again. God is what all the heathens, heathen nations worships. And it was so easy to see, my friends, and you'll be able to see this. It's so easy to see in the scriptures that God is a, it was exactly who Yahweh warned the Israel, Israelites not to worship. My friends, the truth that I'll share with you, I'll be sharing with you today, is only taught by the house of Yahweh. No other place on earth has this truth. Not even the scholars and the people who know that the name of the Creator is Yahweh. They all think that Yahweh is just another God. Today, I want you to pay very close attention because if you don't, you will not understand this great truth. I want to make it absolutely clear that Yahweh is not a God. Yahweh is our Heavenly Father and the Creator of heaven and earth. God, on the other hand, is Satan the devil who has stolen the identity and attributes of Yahweh, inspiring the world to believe that God is the Creator, not Yahweh. But before I get into the facts and show you, you know, the different reference sources that show this information, let me first put it in simple terms so that you will understand what we are saying. My friend, to say that Yahweh is a God is an insult. It's like saying Yahweh is an angel, a creature that Yahweh made. Gods are beings that were created by Yahweh. And sometime later, a third of them rebelled against Yahweh and they were led by Satan the devil. Gods, humans and dogs share the fact that they were all created by Yahweh. Yahweh's intelligence is way above that of the gods. He put the gods of Egypt to complete shame. The people of this world always worship gods. The chief of all the gods is called Satan the devil, who started deceiving mankind from the beginning in the, in the Garden of Eden. People don't know who they're worshiping when they call on God. This is why the Messiah said to, to, the, to the Samaritan woman um, uh, these words in uh, John 4 verse 22. Or if you have a book of Yahweh, it's Yakanan 4, chapter 4 verse 22, where he said, You do not know what you worship. We know what we worship, for salvation is from the Yadayim, or the Jews. Now, Yeshua said this to the woman um, uh, that, because, because the Yadaim or, or, or the Hebrews were given the Torah, the very words of Yahweh, the only way to eternal life. But they put it aside and choose instead to live by the Talmud, which Yeshua resoundedly rejected and called it the tradition of men. Now I'll get, I'll speak more about that later, but what I want you to focus on right now and see is where Yeshua told the woman, you do not know what you worship. This statement is also true of the rest of the God-worshipping world, and it should 
come as no surprise to you, anyone. Because the scriptures clearly told us in Revelation 12 verse 9 that Satan has deceived the entire world. The, let me say that again. The entire world. And you can read this in Revelation 12 verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan who deceives the whole world. Who does the world worship? God, not Yahweh. I want you to see clearly. In fact, the only person in all humanity that Satan was not able to deceive, not even in the slightest, was Yeshua Messiah. Every single one of us were deceived at some point in some way or the other. I want you to remember this what Satan um, said to Yeshua when she tried to deceive Yeshua. I want you to read it for yourself at home. We don't have time now to read it. In Matthew chapter 4, verse, um, verse 8 to 10. You read it. And see, didn't Satan offer Yeshua all the kingdoms of the earth? Well, from that time until now, all the world is still worshipping gods. They are not worshipping Yahweh. Otherwise, they would be keeping Yahweh's laws and calling Yahweh by His name as He commands us to do in the Scriptures. Satan has deceived the whole world by, by getting all mankind to worship a being that goes by the name or the title of God. Everyone worships God. But notice what it says in the Bible about God. In 2 uh, Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4. Notice what it says. For the gods of this world, led by Satan, have blinded the minds of those who do not believe. I want you to notice that. What better way to deceive the world as it states in Revelation 12 verse 9, than to steal the identity of Yahweh. Satan the devil injected the word God into the, into the scriptures to impersonate Yahweh and try to steal his identity as the creator of heaven and earth. By this single criminal act of forgery, Satan caused the only people that Yahweh revealed himself to, the children of Israel, to worship gods or Elohim or El, which is the sing singular form of Elohim. My friends, this is how Satan the devil, the god of this world, has deceived the whole world. Every nation in this world worships God. And note this, they do not worship Yahweh. Yet all the biblical scholars know that Yahweh is the name written in the earliest manuscripts of the Bible. There's no other way to explain why after Yahweh inspired His prophets to write the holy words, His holy words of life, the, the holy scriptures, the only words that can bring eternal life, with His name on every page, and gave us clear instructions in these same scriptures to use His name in worship that scrupulous men would come, would come, would come along and, and, and replace His name with words such as God and Lord. Most people are not even aware of these change, that these changes took place. And the religious community and the media have kept this quiet. You don't hear the churches preaching about this uh, replacing of Yahweh's name on Sunday morning. This should be on the front page of every newspaper throughout the land.